It's no secret that the BMW M4 is an absolute cracker of a car. Fast, fun and bizarrely practical, it's the kind of car you can use every day. And twice on Sundays. I'm sorry, that's terrible. This is the BMW M4 competition. BMW is cheating a bit because this is a celebration of 30 years of the M3 Coupe, which doesn't exist anymore because it's called the M4. Look, it's complicated. The M4 is one of the best looking BMWs and M cars money can buy. Elegant, sleek, sophisticated, and yeah, kind of sexy. In competition trim, you get these amazing 20 inch alloys. They are really cool and they look like a BMW M4 GTS race cars. You also get the shadow line pack, which is whoa, all very menacey. You get these black glossy side vents here. You also get black glossy grille, which, yep, looks fine, it's good. And we come down the back here, and you also get a black badge and these black exhausts. Ow. Inside the M4, you get these amazing seats. I don't know if you have to get them in white, I certainly wouldn't, but they look amazing. BMW reckons that they're weight saving because they're missing these little bits here in these cutouts, but I reckon they look incredible and that's enough for me. You also get things like M stitching in the, in the seat belts, you get the carbon fiber, and you get what every BMW should have, the wheel. This is the M wheel. This would make a 118i feel like a race car, and of course, it's completely at home here in the M4. You get the best in the business entertainment system, the iDrive, with this massive screen here. It's a great interior, it's a great place to be, and it really, it's beautifully put together, which you'd expect of a BMW. Being an M4, this car is obviously all about the drive. The M4 competition isn't just a skirts and stickers special. M has actually put some real engineering work into this. Across Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus, it's harder. It's on, really on, and more on than a Labor leadership spill. It's serious, serious engineering. So you've got extra rubber at the back, you've got extra power, you've got the same torque, but you've got a car that's a bit sharper. So if you really are that track day kind of person, you're going to notice it and that's really cool because you paid a bit extra for this. You've also got a little piece of history. You've got that 30th anniversary special that not a lot of people are going to be able to get their hands on. It's made an already terrific car into something really, really cool. I love this car. I love it a lot and we're not supposed to love cars in this business but I really love this car. The way the M4 drives is by far the most important thing. Straight away you can feel that the competition has just that little bit extra. The steering is even sharper, the chassis feels alive and, given the colour, I think the right word here is vivid. You can feel the road, every pimple, every chunk of broken glass, every stone, but in a good way, you know what's underneath you. And the engine is just brilliant. BMW straight sixes have always been amazing, but even with the turbo, this thing revs like a demon and courtesy of the quad exhaust pipes, sounds like one. You don't really notice the extra go, and you'll need to be a race driver to make any use of it, but hey, it's a proper special edition, and for just a few bucks more, why the hell not? The M4 competition is still very much the everyday sports car. It's just harder, sharper, and faster. I can't think of a better way to celebrate 30 years of the M3. And if you want to know more details, you can read our full review here.